Well, we've got some severe weather moving through our area tonight. Here's a live look at conditions up in Port Washington. They've had some rain falling. You can see the streets are wet. Brian Goddard has our full storm team forecast. Even the windshield wiper is working on our camera up there. <laughs> yes, it is. That's probably going to be trending on Twitter now. Yes, it has windshield wipers. Uh, we do have some downpours of rain now from Port Washington, Grafton and Cedarburg. Uh, a little bit of lightning as well. Finally, some much needed rain in some neighborhoods and also back out towards Newburgh, uh, Jackson, Richfield and Slinger and Hartford as well. Everything moving off to the east and to the southeast. As we zoom out on Viper HD and show you the bigger picture, the one warning that we had here this evening, 830 to 9 o'clock was for southeastern Waukesha, Racine and Kenosha counties. That expired. Uh, they had some large hail there and everything has been pushed pushed off down to the south, but there is more activity back off to the west. Not looking very impressive, but there could be still some rumbles of thunder overnight tonight. Not expecting any severe weather for the remainder of the overnight hours, but hopefully your lawn and gardens get some much needed rainfall. It's getting dry out there. 89 degrees today. Didn't quite hit 90 here in Milwaukee, but that's three days in a row now in the mid to upper 80s. Wow, summer's back just like that. Nowhere near the record of 100 degrees from 1955. A year ago today was 77, and while it was hot and humid, we had a very nice breeze out of the southwest today between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Didn't hit 90 here in Milwaukee, but it did in Racine. 91 in Kenosha for these, the hot spot and 91 in Janesville. 90 in the Dells for all those folks that went to the water parks today. Fond du Lac also hit 90 degrees. Tomorrow, much more pleasant. Still a slight chance of a shower early tomorrow morning before 8 a.m. Then it clears out, becomes less humid and cooler tomorrow with highs mainly in the 70s. Now, if you've enjoyed the 80s and the higher humidity the past couple of days, don't worry. More to come as high pressure strengthens in the middle part of the country by Sunday and into early next week. More heat and more humidity starting Sunday through Wednesday of next week could hit 90 once again as well in very humid conditions. Right now we've cooled down to 69 degrees with those heavy downpours in Sheboygan. Otherwise, we're in the 70s and it is sticky outside. Our dew points have actually risen since 6 o'clock this evening. We were in the mid-60s. Now it's tropical outside. You step outdoors, it doesn't take much to sweat. It is steamy out there, but still a little humid in the morning hours tomorrow, but give it some time. By late morning into early afternoon, the dry air moves in behind the cold front. Very dry for Friday and Saturday, and then as I mentioned, more humid for Sunday. Lows tonight will remain in the mid to upper 60s. Don't be shocked to hear a few rumbles of thunder overnight tonight between now and about 4 a.m. Otherwise, uh, things will start to kind of quiet down around the region. Highs tomorrow, 70s, 80s inland and becoming a little bit cooler along the lakefront with that northeasterly wind. So the front's making its way through. It's going to get cooler and more comfortable uh, for the next couple of days. 67 degrees tonight. Still a few scattered thunderstorms, otherwise warm and humid. An isolated chance of a morning shower, otherwise clearing less humid. And highs in the 70s for the most part tomorrow. Friday, 75, 80 on Saturday, 85 and more humid on Sunday. And then 90s return next Tuesday. And if you're going to the Packers game on Friday evening, oh, bring yeah. your sweatshirt. It'll be 60 by the end of the game. Wow, that'll feel like football oh, that's weather. That's a big swing. Be great. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. You got it.